Thank you so much for joining us on this week's Good News. I'm sitting down with the lead pastor for Northridge Community Church Network. Uh, this is Jim Richmond, and he's here to really talk about the, the good news that, that is going on right now through the local church. So Jim, can you tell us a little bit about yourself, about your role for, at Northridge and, and the good that you are seeing right now? Yeah. Um, yeah, my, uh, our, our church started in 2008 and began to spin, spin off other churches. And so at this point, I oversee that network of churches. And we've got some awesome campus pastors at all of our campuses that, that oversee the local campuses. And so, uh, so yeah, it, it's been a challenging year. Everybody would say that. It's been, it's been really uh, difficult. Uh, and I think in a lot of ways, uh, one of the good things that has kind of come out of it is is a lot of our campuses are taking the, the approach of we're relaunching. Like we're used to mm-hmm. like launching churches, <laughs> uh, but we're relaunching. And so like what we're seeing is a lot of believers are all in. Uh, we're seeing that people are, are taking that focus of uh, you know we need we, you know we need to get behind uh, behind this and 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 just take the gospel as 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 f- to as many people as we possibly can and, and one of the things that I think that really helped uh, through the pandemic for us was that um, we, we we try to take this disciple making foundation you know for, uh, approach yeah. for all of our churches and so one of the things that we saw is we still saw spiritual conversations happening we still saw people's lives change we still saw people getting baptized. Uh, and uh, and so it was really exciting to see that that you know people talk about well you can you can be the church without the doors being open uh, and and that's that's important to take that mindset yeah that's a huge tool the fact that when we have a service and we have that ability but at the same time uh, it's really important to to take that approach that it's really about every single person living on mission that it is just opening the doors and have a come and see attitude and and hope that people will just walk through the doors randomly and see their mm-hmm. lives change. Uh, and so I think it really put a lot of the pressure back on individual people to be the be a missionary as opposed to just depending on the staff, the doors of the church being open and that kind of thing. So I love I love what you said there. I love how you really touched on mission, you know, individual people living on mission because you know, you, you hear it all the time, but, but 2020 and, and honestly part of 2021 has really been like the church isn't the building. And we, you know, for, for most churches or a lot of churches, at least they had to shut their doors for a little while. Um, you know, uh, in back in 2020 and really were forced to like, okay, how are we going to do this? If we, if people can't show up on Sunday morning, how are we going to continue to do that? Um, now, so I'd like you to talk a little bit more about the, the individual, you know, living on mission. So, yeah, this is just something I thought about when you were talking about that. Do you think then that that because of everything that's happened and because of you know the, the struggles that we're going through right now because of uh, the social distancing and everything that's going on, do you think that it actually will be potentially good better in the end because? People are forced now to be like, okay, we can't rely on the church. It's the building of the church. We have to be the church. Yeah, I, I think so, and and I hope so. I hope that 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 focus has really been brought uh, to uh, to bear through through the uh, being, the, the thing that we've maybe rested on the most being stripped away. Uh, and so, you know, one of the illustrations that we use is the is the concept of learning to play chess. And you you, you want to learn to play chess without the queen on the table because uh, an amateur chess player will just be like oh man the queen can do anything so I'm gonna I'm just gonna you know and, and you get so dependent on that and then you turn around and look and all your pieces are gone uh and you're thinking oh this is not going so well uh and so the, the queen's the most seems like the most powerful piece and so you tend to rely on it but you really need to learn to play without it on the table and then get really good at the at the all those other pieces and then of course You'd like to have it back on the table when you actually play, and I think it's been that way with uh, with the church service. Is is people always think, well, you know, the church service that's everything. We put on a great mm-hmm. church service; people will come, uh, people's lives will be changed. Uh, I don't have to have spiritual conversations. I just need to invite and get them to church, and then the the pastor will do the rest. And I I, I hope that we're, we've learned to play a little bit without the queen. Uh, and I'm I'm very excited to put the queen back on the table. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, I I think that as people are kind of coming out of of a state that has been maybe depressing, lonely, uh, very disconnected. One of the things that the church offers that that should be better than anybody else is community uh, and extending yeah. that. And so, as as we've learned to play without the queen, hopefully we're more prepared to 
uh, have those conversations individually. We're more prepared to welcome people into community uh, and uh, and just walk with people till their lives are changed. Yeah, that's awesome. I love how you 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 highlighted the community aspect because that's something that has been really difficult. Um, you know, at least for for a year now. You know, just over a year now. What is it, Mark? So <laughs> about, right almost it. almost yeah. a year. Um, so it's been struggling. You know, people have been struggling because of that. And the local church, I mean, if we're honest, is is probably the very best place to get the best community. You know, we body should of dominate believers. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that's something with with what we're trying to do with the, our Gospel 101 project um, that'll be coming for the Easter in the Appalachian Highlands. That'll be the day before Easter. We're wanting to partner with local churches. You know, we're wanting to. We're, we're saying, you know, we're we're all about community here at 88.3, and we want to push people towards the best place for that. You know, which is the local church. So if you're listening right now and you want to get connected with a local church, we'll put uh, Northridge's links in the description of the video so you can click on that and, and get connected. Um, but with this, with the Gospel 101 project that I was mentioning, um, we're wanting to focus on the gospel, the good news of what the gospel is. You know, the show is good news. Yeah. And uh, so we're really wanting to focus on that and partnering with the local churches to build that community. And I'd love to hear you know, maybe some ideas or some stuff that you've uh, put into practice potentially that has been beneficial as far as community, especially for those who, you know, are, are, uh, are a lot, you know, facing a lot more difficulty right now. They're, they're, you know, making sure they're distancing from everyone. They're you know, uh, maybe taking it above and beyond. Um, and I'd, so I'd love to hear kind of what your advice is to those people and how they can maybe still get community, even though they might not come on Sunday morning. Yeah, man. And that's, that's tough. Uh, you know, obviously, uh, there, there are better ways to do it than just sit at home and try to figure out how to reach out, yeah. uh, you know, on your own, but there are things that you can do. And uh, a lot of times, uh, you you know, your church may offer uh, video conferencing for, for small groups. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe they, uh, may, maybe the group that you are in doesn't necessarily offer that, but maybe they have one group that's all video. Like, go for it. Like, jump yeah. in there for right now. You never know. Like, sometimes we're hesitant to make new relationships, and and you know, this is this might be a perfect time for you to step into that. Um, also, uh, when you're watching online, if you're if you're engaging with a with a, a church or a campus online. Like join in, join into the chat. Uh, feel free if you've got questions, like uh, private message or, or use that feature in uh, in the stream, and just just jump in there and and just like you would uh, if you walked up to the pastor after the message and said, "Hey, that that was great, but I've got a question." Do it. Like yeah. just reach out and get connected to people. And uh, again, sometimes I think we get stuck in our ruts, and uh, when you take our rut away, then we just can't, we don't know what to do. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I think really uh, being willing to to try new things and do uh, and reach out in ways that you you never have before but you also never have had to before uh and and just just open your mind to those things and just jump into them yeah that's awesome i love it um now another thing i wanted to talk about for just a moment was so your role at northridge is the lead pastor so you're actually overseeing the three different northridge campuses mm -hmm. um for for church leaders that are listening right now that are you know, having a really difficult time you actually your role could potentially help them um, yeah. I'd like you to talk a little bit about what you specifically do that are that are helping churches, you know, relaunching or, or restarting, however you want to uh, phrase that. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, one of the things that I love about what our what our uh, church has done is we're not only serious about uh, uh, trying to multiply and spread Northridge campuses. Yeah. Uh, and that's, you know, that, that's a, a, a big part of, of my role uh, in, in helping facilitate uh, for that to go forward. But through the process, as we've done that, we've, we've, we've tried to learn some things. I, I, I think we could say we've learned some things not to do. So we're, <laughs> we're really helpful in that way as well, if that's helpful. Um, and so we uh, really have freed me up to be able to invest in anybody that wants to plant a church, uh, in any church that needs to kind of be revitalized and you can come in and consult with that, uh, with just, just anybody that in any way is trying to um, uh, spread, uh, you know, gospel relevant churches, you know, throughout the culture. Uh, that are really engaged in our culture, and so, um, so yeah, I'm I'm available to be able to connect with people, uh, help people uh, in in coaching them with church planting, revitalizing any of those types of things. I'm. I'm I'm here, yeah, uh, for them. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Okay, and we'll uh, we'll link to to maybe your email in the video, or mm -hmm. or at least uh, some contact information, so that if someone's listening and wants to uh, or needs help <laughs> for, the, for that, they can they can reach out to yeah. you. Um, now, I'd like to give you just a moment here before we wrap up, uh, just to give you the opportunity to to share what's on your heart 
um, you know, what, what God has been teaching you during this uh, season, this especially difficult season for, for anyone in ministry right now. I'd like to give you that opportunity. Yeah, uh, man, that it took a turn. It made my, my mind go crazy there at the end when you said difficult <laughs> uh, season in ministry. Um, I think... I think that it has been a tough season in ministry, and I, I really am concerned about uh, pastors. I'm, I'm really concerned about um, you know that that struggle of feeling like that, uh, so to speak, a lot of what you built. We, I mean, we all know you know it's Christ that builds a church, but you pour your heart and soul into it, and and it feels like that a lot of it got kind of got wiped off the map, and you're starting over and and, and things like that. But, uh, you know, I just think it's, it, it should be encouraging for us to think about the fact that it is Christ that builds the church. It is, it is our faithfulness and, and obedience. And, and I think at the same time, I think that, that we're in a place right now where, um, you know, we, we have the opportunity to, to, to really, I mean, I, I know at our campuses, we're you know, 60% of what our attendance was, uh, you know, just before this time last year. But there is an unbelievable spirit there right now and an excitement. And it's kind of like we've been honed back to all the people who are just all in. And I think it's an, it's an amazing moment to really train and, and, and raise up those folks that are there to, 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 to really um, become great disciple makers, uh, to really take it to the next level, to learn to play without the queen on the table, uh, because you've got a, you've got a very uh, engaged audience right now. And, and, you know, sure, we'd like to have all the people who are, who are you know, there, you know, just kind of thinking about Christianity or, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. And we're, and we're seeing some of that, actually, as, as things are starting to open up. But, but you have an opportunity right now to, to really lead a very hungry, excited group of people. Uh, and, and I think in some ways it, it kind of, so to speak, kind of purified the church. I, I, know, I hate to kind of use that kind of terminology. Yeah. But I think uh, because of that, uh, we may see a much more contagious environment uh, coming out of that. And so I would just say don't. Don't give up. Don't get don't get too discouraged about uh, the numbers and things like that right now. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, you know, I mean, the whole world's dealing with it. Yeah. <laughs> and so I think uh, it's really better to look at the opportunity that you have in front of you and uh, just make yourself available. And, and really, maybe, uh, you know, this is a great time to kind of rethink uh, let let God really kind of rehone your strategy and and just just unleash it uh, because um, a lot of things are changing. Uh, you, ha you had to do things differently. You don't have to go back to some of the things that weren't working. Uh, you don't have to go back to some of the things that were just duplicate and just, you know, doubling up your effort in the same area. Uh, and so you have a chance to, to come, come back with a very focused, stripped down, intentional strategy right now. And, and you probably have a very fired up group of people uh, who are very receptive. So I think it really is an exciting opportunity uh, if we can just get away from just counting everything by, you know, what's our attendance. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Jim. I really appreciate you being here today. Yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm.